Sean Hammond with Premier Guitar. We are at Winter NAM 2020 in Anaheim talking to Dusty Waring at the PRS booth. Dusty, thanks for joining us. Yeah, man. No problem. So you, you had a signature model that came out how long ago and then kind of went away for a bit? The, the first one came out, I want to say, in 2015 maybe, but it was a totally different instrument, totally different um, price range. Was that the SE? No, it was, uh, it was actually between artist package and private stock. Um, it was a good bit more expensive, very, very beautiful guitar. Um, but then <clears throat> the second model, which was the original model of this uh, last year, we, we had been doing R&D for like three years, man, and um, kind of came up with, with a guitar that I loved but was in a, a price point that made me very comfortable. Um, you what were you, had your like uh, the things you liked about guitars changed since the first one or you were just kind of trying to bring it down uh, in price and yeah I wanted to bring it down in price but I also I've always liked bolt-on you know maple maple you know maple neck maple board bolt-on it's very snappy um, like all the you know classic guitars and um, you know we got it down to uh, what I think is a really good price point it's still made in America um, and you know I, I, I wanted to go with a maple board and um, basically, I toured on that that model for a few years, and um, now we've kind of gotten it to where it is now. And it, we got five different colors. Um, we went to a solid inlay instead of the uh, the uh, hollow bird, and we 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 changed the knobs to these super cool kind of a heavier knob that's not going to go down when you're really getting it. Um, like metal right yeah they're super heavy and just kind of real comfortable i think they look super cool kind of add to the uh, aesthetic of the guitar and uh original floyd right yeah this is the uh the one that comes on this guitar is the 1000 series um but yeah it comes in five colors so we've got the the black top which is my personal favorite the one that i'm playing actually live uh with the nice natural back satin neck um and we've got we've got the uh, the amber smoke burst which is also really really nice looking um and it's got the cool contrast on the back as well we've got a um but it's, it's still a maple neck yeah, just maple just neck, maple board mahogany body um my signature pickups the same as the last one which are a hybrid magnet you know uh, half alnico half ceramic um yeah man and it's a custom neck profile for me which is thinner than like your your standard uh pattern thin with prs i can't remember the exact measurement but it's it's just more it's faster it's a, it's a little little more slim in the hand and uh yeah so we've got black top we've got the amber smoke burst We've got the original two colors, which were gray, black, and wearing burst. And we've got a nice uh, blue, I can't remember the actual name, but it's like a nice dark blue smoke burst, kind of like a, a black edge. Now, are these also locking tuners and a locking nut? Yeah, so PRS has always done the locking tuners, but um, it just, it saves a ton of time. My, my tech can restring my guitar in six minutes. You pull, you put the string in, you pull it through, tighten it, clip, tune it to pitch, stretch it, and then you lock these bad boys, and it ain't going nowhere. Do you mind showing us a couple other, maybe different pickup combinations or anything? Yeah, um, I don't have the foot switch for this guy, but um, I'll kind of just go through. So your bridge pickup. <laughs> Very aggressive but clear, kind of unforgiving. You can hear all the, you know, all the, the voicing of the chord. Um, 
neck pickup. This is the neck split. Real shimmery, you know? Um, both pickups. Split bridge. You know, the goal was to have a guitar that, you know, I, I liked cosmetically. I liked how it sounded and played. And just one that's, like, dependable that's going to, you know, you don't want to have to change. We, we rarely stop playing live, you know, for over an hour. So I wanted something that was going to stay in tune, just be like a workhorse, but also was going to be, I wanted to be able to achieve all the studio sounds, you know. You know, a, a lot of people are switching to like a strap for a song, to a Les Paul, to a Telly or whatever. My goal was to be able to do it all with one instrument. And these are exactly like what you're playing on stage. This is the exact guitar. How much are they going for? Twenty four ninety nine for an American made PRS with boutique pickups and Floyd Rose and all that stuff, man. It's kind of unbeatable. Sweet. Well, thanks for playing it for us, man. And thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, go to prsguitars.com to check it out and follow them on social. Follow Dusty and yeah, Between the Bird and Me. Instagram, Dusty Waring, uh, BT Bam Official uh, on Instagram or Facebook. And yeah. And you also did a riff rundown for us recently. Which yeah. song was the last one we just put out? That was from uh, a song called Famine Wolf off of our Coma Ecliptic record. Little That's like the second or third one you've done, isn't it, right? Yeah, we've done a few together. Sweet. Yeah. So yeah go check that out on premierguitar.com and subscribe and all that stuff. Later, guys.